It's your girl Nina Marie and welcome back to the channel. So before we go ahead and start this video, if you're new, y'all know who I am. Hi, I'm Nina Marie, aka Nijana Marie, and welcome. And if you're oldie but a goodie, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so before we go ahead and start this video, can we just get into this face though? And also, please do not mind my bed. I'm doing laundry, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out of the way. So yeah, period. Now, as y'all can read below, we're going to get into this story time. A few videos back, I was basically telling y'all, I would tell y'all about this crazy roommate that I had and this crazy little roommate situation. So I'm going to go ahead and tell this story time today because why not? And yeah, so without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this here so this video takes place probably almost two years ago i want to say almost two years ago and i was recently um moving into this apartment and basically it was like a roommate situation so it was this apartment i seen that was for it was like a room for rent type of situation and i needed to move and i was gonna rent out the place so i was gonna rent out the room and there was two other people that were also living in this apartment so it's a three bedroom apartment and two other people were living there well when i first like toured the apartment and then the room somebody else was currently already living there at the time so basically i was waiting the reason why i couldn't move in automatically because i had all the money and everything i had to wait for the person that lived there before me to move out so that was like also kind of like something weird so y'all definitely pay attention to a lot of these signs that were here so basically i moved into the apartment and y'all i did not sign a lease when i first went into this apartment never signed a lease but i just you know gave them my money up front and i had the video of me like exchanging because i kept like evidence and stuff but i ended up deleting it um just recently because i just feel like i don't live there no more why do i need this video proof whatever so i ended up giving them the money meeting both roommates and the original person that i was mainly talking to when i seen the um uh, because it was like an ad on facebook or whatever so when i first seen the ad it was um i was talking to this girl we're gonna call this girl a okay because a is the roommate i'm talking about okay so basically um I end up moving in. Me and my best friend end up going to go toward the place. We toured the place. It was nice. It was pretty cool. I really liked it because one, it was very close to like my family. Also very close to my best friend. Yeah, I was kind of far from my job. And at the time, I didn't have a car. So I was kind of irritated about that. But it was close by everybody else. So I really didn't have a problem with that. So basically, I move in this is the biggest problem that I should have just seen red flags. So when I first come there, the place was already dirty place is already dirty kitchen was dirty laundry was dirty they were like oh i'm so sorry we weren't we um didn't get a chance to clean up yada 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 blase blase but i understand sometimes people really have hectic lives and sometimes they don't clean up so it's okay like i still decided to move in so the way the apartment went is there's one big room that has a bathroom inside of it and then there's two other rooms and then there's a bathroom in the hallway and you share the bathroom the two people who have the smaller rooms share the bathroom in the hallway so i you know i move in move my stuff in i'm pretty excited because you know new place new area new scenery it's great okay so basically after i moved in the first big thing for me was i shared a bathroom with a we're gonna also name my other roommate at the time we're gonna name him alex i don't know why but alex just came to my head so i roommate with a and alex so a had a boyfriend who lived with her at the time and alex had a girlfriend that he ended up moving in with him so I was the only one I did have a boo at the time but I didn't 
my man didn't live with me they had their significant others live with them so i was the only one in the house technically i'm not saying single but like living single basically so yeah so i go into the bathroom that i share with a and also her significant other and it's filthy y'all like it's pee you know how men lift up the toilet and like they pee all around the toilet it was pee everywhere it was womanly when you know when women on their monthly it was residue all along the toilet under the on the bottom of the, of the toilet was pee it, it looks like the shower looked like it never really has been washed and i don't know like for me i just feel like if you when you have a roommate or whatever move in with you these are the things that you're supposed to like clean up before they move in you know to make them want to move in anymore but i needed to move in really fast so that's why it was just a fast situation so <sighs> i took it upon myself i went out and got a whole bunch of cleaning supply because when you move into a place that's what you do anyway so i got a lot of stuff from my room and i got a lot of cleaning supply i got some meats in my own pots and pans and bowls and stuff because i don't want to have to use everybody else's so i go and i go get the cleaning supply all that good stuff and i clean the bathroom now mind you i deep clean this bathroom i mean deep clean like you probably never seen a bathroom cleaner than that bathroom i super clean that bathroom i sanitized it and all because on top of that as well like when i have company like my man or my friends i do not want them to have a nasty bathroom so that was number one for me that was the biggest issue but i left it alone now fast forward my room is closer to a's room now the issue that i have and i might insert a clip here i might not i don't know but i probably might insert the clip what i used to hear you guys every single night like a night will lie i heard this almost every single night her and her boyfriend a and her boyfriend had I don't know if they were having issues in a relationship or whatever the case may be but they would argue every single night y'all and i'm not talking about just little bicker i'm talking about loud and if i do insert this clip you're going to hear what i used to hear Court, running away doing the best for you running away So sometimes it would get physical. Now, for me, for the most part, y'all, I'm pursuing by my business. Okay, I don't get into other people's issues. I don't get into other people's business. That just ain't got nothing to do with me. But there was one particular night where also this is the same night of the clip that i'm hearing him choke her like i'm not talking about just little choke i'm not when she's gasping for air screaming help me help me help me all that so i get up and i go to the other roommate which is alex i'm i forgot he worked that night so i go try to knock on the door to see if he's here because it's obviously like i know i'm not the only person who hears this i'm pretty sure the whole apartment hears this like i'm pretty sure the whole apartment buildings hear this going on so I go get him to see if he's home he's not home so his girlfriend's home and she's already hearing it she's irritated by it she's like frustrated because mind you guys we hear this almost every night like it's getting ridiculous so yeah so basically i go to the door because my thing is one thing i ain't never scared of no dude mind y'all you see me i'm i'm a little plush i'm a plush woman that man was this skinny now he had the sword he used to always say like try to throw it around that he played mma he did all that stuff like that baby that don't scare me that don't scare me you know what's you know what will scare me god and let me tell you me and you both bleed and i before i let you put your hands on me i'm gonna stab you shoot you whatever i need to do it's gonna happen but anyway so i go and i'm like enough is enough <laughs> enough is enough because mind you i've heard him put his hand on her before but she never leaves and this is a my thing was like i'm not gonna get in nobody's relationship business if you just gonna take the dude back and y'all like what's the point and if i get into it with him like i'm putting myself in this but like that night it was just a little too much for me so police get called the neighbors end up calling the police police come he leaves before the police comes we've been told her multiple times before this that she needs to call the police she refused to do so so mind you her only her name is on this lease his name is not 
so basically that was like I guess that was her so-called straw, like her last straw or whatever, because we were basically pushing her to call the police because not only did our neighbors have to come over here because of that, now, I don't know, it was just a lot. So basically, that was basically straw number two for me. Like, it was just... It was just too much, that whole little thing. But I was trying to be there for her. So basically, she basically, we were wondering why she even got into it with her man. What was going on? Like, what's going Because he ended up talking about he was going to come back once the police left. Like, he's texting her, talking about he sees the police. Like, he's going to come back when they leave. Like, it was just a lot. So, she basically was saying that um, she... End up getting a ride from work one night from her co-worker. Mind you, they, they both work at the same place. So her and her boyfriend broke up to work at the same place. She got a ride from a co-worker home one night. And instead of him bringing her home, he was like on some weird stuff. And basically, he raped her. Now, one, y'all, I know rape is a very big, serious situation. And I don't play about that at all. Like, I don't play. So... I'm like, okay, so why would that make him mad at you? Like, I don't understand. So, basically, she said that her boyfriend did not believe the dude raped her. She, He believed that she was messing around with the dude the whole entire time. And that because instead of her calling him to come pick her up from work, she got in the car with a dude. And basically, the way the boyfriend expressed it, because the boyfriend tried to tell us his side of the story, he said that, her and the dude always be flirting, always be on some love stuff. And she had sex with the dude and she knew the dude was going to end up going to go tell her boyfriend. And her boyfriend was going to break up with her, basically. So she cried rape. That's what the guy who she said raped her did. So we asked, like, did you ever call the police on the guy that you work with or nothing? Oh, I'm sorry, my camera died. Focus. Okay, so yeah, like... We, she said that she got raped at a certain time and she came home that night and like, I never knew about anything about her getting raped. Like, I, she never like seemed weird or was no anything. I understand people like react differently, but like, no one ever knew. So I'm starting to feel really bad now. Like, it was just a whole little like situation. So basically, she said that she did call the police and all stuff like that. Come to find out she never called the police. Come to find out that the guy never went to jail. And I don't know. I'm not going to say she was lying. I'm not going to say nothing like that because I don't want to. But basically, that's why her and her boyfriend were arguing because he felt like she was lying because the dude ended up telling him that they had sex. And she basically just said that they, he raped her. So, that was a whole, that's, that's a whole situation right there. So, again, fast forward again another time so as y'all know you know your girls videos was broached in at the time because this was the time i was doing videos with the guys so like chris and um stefan and um coaches and all that I'm like y'all know i was doing all those videos so basically the way i do videos is when i did the videos with the guys i always made sure like or even with the girls i always made sure i was being a great host so if you know me you ever come to my house i'm always cooking for my friends i'm always making sure refreshments is there i'm always making sure they're good okay like it doesn't matter like i'm always making sure they're really good so around this time right before i start making the deals with the guys um a group of my other guy friends that came over to my house you know just to have like hang out at my house or whatever i will always inform my roommates a and alex that I will be having company over. I always do that. So I'm going to take a pause right here and let the, let you guys know the situation before I moved in. So I basically told them what type of person I am. So I am basically a very standoff person. Like I all, I'm very private, very to myself. But I do like to, I'm, I like to associate, I like to have fun. And I do have friends over. I said the most, the most people who might be over a lot probably will be my siblings. Because they live around the corner. But my siblings only really came over like twice. But I did say I do like to have friends or whatever. And I asked them. I'm like okay do y'all mind parties like y'all mind this they're like no we love parties we love this we we don't mind being loud da, 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 all this y'all pumping me up i don't know if it was pumping me up to let me move there or what the situation was but they very was they very were like moving like oh yeah we can have parties we can do this i we don't care yada 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 okay boom 
So some of my guy friends came over and mind you, at the time she was in a relationship. So one of my guy friends, we're gonna call him B, and basically she was on him something like real tough. Like she really liked him. Now mind you, she was dang near, I think she was like 29 and B I think was like 20, probably even 19. I think he was probably like 19, 20. And I'm like, you know, I told her like, you know, he's young. Mind you, I'm not gonna, if you want to chill young man, that's all you. But at the time, B was talking to my best friend's cousin and they were always coming to my house. So it was like, I'm not gonna let you talk to him knowing that like the homie talked to him like, no, the heck. And on top of that, he was not interested in you, baby. Like he wasn't interested. So the issue with her with the guys is first she was basically kind of like trying to downplay the homie like trying to talk about her and i had to really like pause her there because i'm like baby uh-uh don't do that don't do that because you can't get the man don't don't try to down talk this one mind you the homie looked way better than you baby and she was way more classy or whatever everything but don't ever try to come downplay her because you can't get the dude like please move so i was like okay i wasn't really feeling her like that so then I was telling her basically that, hey, I'm having guy friends over, yada, yada, yada. I'm about to go downstairs to go get them. Mind y'all, before I was telling her, before everybody came upstairs, she was literally on the couch, yoga pants on y'all, and a t-shirt like she just got off the gym literally hair tied in a bun watching tv S super normal and mind you she was literally sitting there for almost an hour probably two hours while i'm sitting there like she wasn't moving like she was perfectly fine like nothing i go downstairs literally took five not even five minutes y'all went downstairs look at the homie come upstairs Cause I showed them where to park. Come upstairs, y'all. Why is she in the kitchen, booty naked, and a towel that only covers the front part? Her whole cheeks is out, and she goes into the kitchen. So if you see, if you knew, we're like, if like the way my kitchen was set up is, here's a kitchen. Basically, here's my kitchen. On this side is basically my. It's like a washer and dryer, but it's like a door and it's like a washer and dryer area. And on this side, it's like the dining room table and then all the rooms and then the living room back there. So, she's in the kitchen, booty naked, and she sees us walking in. Now, when you first walk in my door and if you look to the right or whatever, you see the kitchen. So, instead of her running towards the bathroom or running towards her room, she runs into the laundry room. booty naked mind you you still have to come out of there to go to your room so i know y'all like me and you're being petty like maybe she had to take a shower because she's got the gym and yada 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 okay okay so i let that one slide okay even though it was very odd to me that you were just fully dressed but as soon as i told you i was gonna go get my friends now you're finna randomly take a shower like i'm not saying she couldn't take a shower because obviously if it's dudes coming over like you know but it was just so weird how you just booty butt naked in the kitchen like why mind you there was no she wasn't cooking she was in the refrigerator booty naked if i just told you i'm going downstairs to go get my friends they here why would you be naked it took y'all i promise you did not take him five minutes to get into get downstairs tell them to park and bring them upstairs you be telling me you got naked put a towel on and went into the kitchen. Now it's your house. Do what you want to do. But why? So I'm okay. She goes. Should we do the video? She goes in the bathroom. Now if you also know if there's going to be company over. How about you take some clothes with you in the bathroom? No. She still comes out the shower with the towel still only on the front. But a booty out. When the men are still there. 
and mind you y'all know me they're going to stare and i just feel like it was so much for attention like dang you need attention that much but i'm not hating i'm not hating i'm never a hater do what you want baby so then boom that was that situation mind y'all she did this probably three times and i am not over exaggerating i really wish my best friend or the guys would be here to vouch she did this like three times literally there was a time that she was there with a dude with the dude the dude went into the shower we're all recording she comes out of the out her room no clothes on only in that one same towel and the dude already locked the bathroom door so now she's just sitting out the bathroom door like um can you let me in can you let me in knocking you're naked i got female i have my friends here my other guy friends here my best friend here all the girls here like what you look dumb just sitting at that door like go to your room like for what so i was really over so that. then it was a situation where she would bring over her cousins like her little cousins slash sisters whatever they were teenagers okay and they i we worked during the week me and alex worked during the week this girl works who knew when she worked i forgot her schedule but she knows this but she would bring people over on the weekdays knowing the days that we work and they will like bring over their little teenage friends mind you we live in a three bedroom upstairs apartment bring over their little friends and they will party now mind you i didn't really care because they told me okay we're cool we like to party we like to do our do whatever but it's a Wednesday. I have to work at 7 o'clock in the morning. And I basically, like, when it happened more than once, I kind of like, hey, can we, like, not have too many parties, like, on the weekdays? Or at least can we, cut, like, cut it off at least by 12, 1 o'clock so I at least can be able to go to sleep? So, she brings her little cousins over, her little sisters, and they decide to fight. Her and her family are, like, focus her and her family are fighting like i'm not even talking about a little fighting i mean going blows like just doing the most like it was just too much they would get obviously they teenage girls that like, getting drunk as boys here you are you act heck of childish around men they act heck of dumb it was just it was a lot and i was just like okay this is just too like how, and mind you most of the stuff was just her like yes alex had issues like most of his alex problem was his girlfriend was young she was only like 19 20 and she will always cook meals and never clean after herself like leave the kitchen dumb dirty like it, it drives me crazy like none of them ever mopped or swept even the living room floor kitchen nothing like it was just too much like y'all i promise you a lot of things happen and i only was there for probably like six months not even that i promise you so yeah like her and her cousin got into an altercation i'm like dang girl why are you always fighting like why are you always getting into it with someone like I, you know obviously like, sometimes when people are like okay maybe it is that other person but then sometimes when it's too many people it's like maybe it's you that's how i felt like maybe it's you baby maybe it's you so yeah basically that's what happened as far as in like all that stuff now i'm gonna take a pause right here and i don't want to make this video too long so y'all go check out part two it's gonna be up probably like two days after this one and y'all gonna really see what happens as far as and why we were finna really fight like we y'all we was finna fight so yeah y'all y'all gonna see you in part two <laughs>